Hi friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. In today's video, I'm really excited to share with you some of my favorite tips for decorating for Christmas. So my first thing is to clean your services as you go. And I love Mrs. Myers, and this peppermint scent is no exception. I love that it really fills your house with a scent and peppermint really got me into the spirit. So the first thing I did on my mantle was I took some lighted garland greenery that we have had for years from Target. And the first thing I did was went through and fluffed it up to make sure that it looked full because um, kind of a bare mantle just does not look good. So then to make it even more full, I took two fleece scarves that I grabbed from the Dollar Tree. I cut off the ends and then I just cut strips. It didn't have to be even, it didn't have to be super straight, but I just cut little strips of fabric so that I could use them to tie it into the garland. So then that way it would add my buffalo check into the garland, but then also it would give it a little contrast and make it look a little bit fuller. I wanted it to look full around the other items I was going to put up there. So I ended up just tying it about every, you know, couple inches. And then I started to add some items. So my trick with my mantle is I love to give it height. So boxes, pieces of wood, anything you have laying around your house that you can hide in the garland, I use that. And then I put up my hangers for my stockings. These are from the Target Dollar Spot. And then the stockings are from Hobby Lobby. I got them last year, but they've got something similar this year. Then this year I grabbed an A, a W, and an S for Alex, Whitney, and Sebastian. And I put those on the same hook with our stockings. So those are kind of monogrammed. Then I started grabbing some items and really arranging my mantle. Now I really like to have balance, but not total balance. So on the left hand side, you can see there, I've got a sign that I've made. So that gives you height on the one end balanced out with the tree and then I used a lot of different boxes and things to get those up on top of the garland so then that way it kind of wasn't hidden in the back. Then I found some additional scarves that I had left over from last year, the red buffalo check, so I ended up tying that into the mantle and you'll have to stay tuned to my home decor tour to see my full mantle completed with my other DIYs. So how many times do you put out a rug that is pretty inexpensive and the back either lost its grip or didn't have any grip to begin with and you don't want to fall over? The trick here is to grab some shelf liner from the Dollar Tree, go ahead and cut it to the correct size that you need for your rug, lay those down and you can overlap them for extra grip, and then you just put the rug on there. And voila, it doesn't slip anymore. You're not gonna fear that yourself or your kids are gonna fall or your guests. Up next is how I decorated my banister. So I started with the same lit greenery that I used on my mantle and made sure that it was fluffed and we wrapped it around the banister to give it that kind of full look. Then I started at the bottom. I used floral wire and wired ribbon and I started at the bottom with a little bit of a tail so that it was hanging down. And then I just went ahead and kind of scalloped the ribbon. So you're gonna give it a little bit of slack and then you're gonna take some floral wire and hook it to a branch as you go. So I kind of just looped it up to the next chunk, looped it up to the next chunk and used the wired ribbon to really give it that fluffy look. And then at the top, I just cut the ends and then I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of embellishment. So I had these bells from last year at the Dollar Tree, but they have them out there now. For just a dollar, I added one to the center. And then I also added one to the bottom of the banister and also one to the top. And it was really simple, but I love how this looks. I didn't add the ribbon last year and it really just elevates it. I love that it's a little bit different than the buffalo check, but it still all ties together. And also seeing that light come through the ribbon, it just looks so gorgeous and it gives me traditional Christmas vibes that I love. Up next are these DIY kind of hurricane vase snow globes and I make these every year and they're so simple and you can change them out because it's just salt. So I have these hurricane vases from my wedding and then I grab some Epsom salt at the Dollar Tree. Now you can do this, you can also use iodized salt 
it doesn't really matter what you use. Then I grabbed some little figurines. This was an ornament that I got last year at Joann Fabrics. And then I also got this bottle brush tree at Joann's, but you can get those even at the Dollar Tree. And then I just twisted it in and it looks like a little winter scene that looks really cute on a shelf. So this is in my bathroom and I actually made a second one with a little barn and another tree in there. The barn's from Target. And then I also did the same thing with this container from Ikea and a little snowman for our coffee table. Up next is this Simple Joy wreath that I made from a super cheap Michaels wreath. I've had this for years since college. To refresh it, I just added a little bit of ribbon that I had on hand. And what I did is I looped it around through the actual kind of openings within the wreath form, just so the wreath wasn't just green. I wanted to break it up a little bit, but I didn't want it to be too busy. And so I just did a little bit of kind of looping around. Then I used these J-O-Y letters from the Target dollar spot and I literally just hung them and then bent up the branch it was on so it wasn't going to fall off so I just bent it up kind of like an L and then I just added a bell from the Dollar Tree to make it match the garland on the banister that's right behind it and that is literally so simple but I like it how it looks on my new dark wood door and I love that I didn't glue those things on so I can use those joy ornaments for something else in the future. And finally, this three-tiered tray. So many of you have asked questions about how I decorate them, so here is my process. I lay out all of my little trinket items that I've collected that I think would be good on the tray. And then I start with a blank slate. Sometimes I like to keep some certain items on there and you'll see that in the next tray, but this first one was the one I just bought at Hobby Lobby on fall clearance. So I grabbed two of these C ornaments from the Target dollar spot and I wanted to have that be a common theme between my two trays. I also took some extra cut ups that I had of that buffalo check scarf from the Dollar Tree and then I start adding things that I have. So these are items from the Target Dollar Spot. I wanted to create a little cocoa bar area within the tray so I grabbed some paper straws at the Dollar Tree. That little book is from the Dollar Tree and then the same concept that I used for the mantle by lifting things with wood so you have a little different heights then I took these berries that are also from the Dollar Tree and I took some wire cutters and just cut them up and really this is a game changer for me all of the greenery or berries or whatever that is what will take your tray from zero to hero pretty quickly you just need to fill a lot of the dead space and once you're able to do that it is like I said a game changer so by putting in that ornament or this box that will kind of fill the space but then once you add the berries or greenery or like this bottle brush tree it just really changes the look and for that traditional farmhouse Christmas vibe I'm going for the berries are spot on I love these little wood pieces from the dollar spot at Target I did some cute DIYs back in the fall with that and they're really nice to insert into the trays now this is my second tray and this is the one that I have up year round that I just change. So first I did the berries, I added some little Santa mugs from the Dollar Tree, and then I added a little camper, some more berries, mug from Home Goods, just a random assortment of things, but they all have a similar red and white theme. I took my votive candle holders and flipped them over to give height to these two items I bought at the Target Dollar Spot. and. There it is, it's that simple. Really, it's just color scheme. And then my biggest trick is adding greenery or berries. And there you have it. It's my version of a three-tiered tray and I really love how it turned out. I hope I gave you some ideas today on how you can start decorating your home or finish it if you are already almost done like me. I really hope that you are having a great week and that you will give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit subscribe down below so you are notified the second I post that full home decor tour which will be coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!